My name is Peter Hinson. I have a background in startups, and now I teach at London Business School, and I'm the author of The Network Always Wins. The role of the CIO has been fascinating for me all my life. Um, throughout my career, this has been my, my prime focus. And I've been baffled for a long time that when, you know, in, in a world where we are now, where technology has become normal, CIOs should be superstars. Uh, they, should be, they should be the rock stars of organizations. And in many companies, they are not. In many companies, the CIOs have had a little bit of a struggle to actually maintain their relevance. And um, I think in, in all honesty, this is the time where technology really is a very, very fundamental strategic weapon for any organization. Um, it used to be just for the happy few, and, and we've seen it in media and you know, those areas where technology and information is the product, that you know, it was very clear that technology was a strategic asset. But now in almost every organization, technology becomes a strategic weapon. Uh, the relationship with customers, building data-driven organization, and then even more, fundamental shifts in business models, which are the result of technology. So customers, markets, organizations, and business models, this is a huge opportunity for CIOs to go from a more operational to a much more strategic role inside any company. But I think companies who realize that potential would really benefit from a CIO who assumes that position. Many CIOs have been rather cautious, I think, in the last couple of years to really be too dominant. But this is not the time to be dormant. This is the time to really take that position. This is the time for the CIO to assume that leadership role in rethinking the strategic options where technology becomes a huge asset for many companies. So I believe the next five years will be a huge challenge for organizations to unfreeze, to become fluid again, um, to rethink their structures. I think there's a huge opportunity there to understand how information, how data, how actually building a data-driven organization, leveraging the power of knowledge in a network to make a company really agile and fluid, that's a huge opportunity as a company, as a CIO, to be involved with that.